Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Paleo Pickups and I'm back with another video. For today's video, we are doing a how-to style and it is on the new Yeezys which released today, the Yeezy 500 Salt. So I managed, me and my friend George went to Lapson and Hammer, a streetwear store in Philadelphia. We got there at 7 a.m. nice and early. We were like the eighth in the queue and luckily enough, unfortunately the store opened an hour late at 11, so we waited for four hours but we both managed to cop a pair in our size two. So right here we have the Yeezy 500 box, exactly the same as always, just 500 right there in a brown colorway. And then we have these beautiful pair of shoes. And what's actually different compared to on the photos, on the photos they kind of look like a white, kind of like off-white or cream, but in person they're kind of like a bluey gray. I prefer this kind of color, it's easier to keep clean too. Pretty much the identical color to the Moon Rocks if you remember the V1s. And for the details we just have like the suede toe box, the chunky outer sole all the way around. I really love the back fit. Very on trend with like, the dad's shoe style. We've got the mesh on both lateral sides and then we have the 3M. I would do a full review, but there's gonna be so many out there. So uh, today I'm gonna be doing a how-to style and I'll be showcasing four different outfits. I try to go out of my comfort zone and kind of mix up the fits too. But before we go into outfit number one, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also to hit that notification bell because YouTube's been really bad on like the subscription boxes. Like my videos aren't appearing and so my subscribers kind of subscription areas so be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time i upload a video but anyways on to outfit number one i shoot my shot at all these bitches now they dripping drip, drip. i cannot drip, drip. swim so when the pussy i just sink in Water. ain't talking Water. bullshit but they say i play like pippin hey come to play you know i'm always on a mission shoot, 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 Pull up, I shoot. Pull up, I shoot to win. I'm fucking on her and her friends. She tryna come fuck on my man. I think that I need me a Zen. I told her it's on the plan. I'm feeling like Dex in Japan. I'm scoring again and again. Pull up, I shoot. Pull up, I shoot to win. Also, when styling the Yeezy 500, they are a very chunky shoe, so you have to stay away from skinny pants. They need to be baggy or kind of crop trousers that complement well with the dad shoe. If you're wearing basically skinny pants, these are going to look like clown shoes. So to break down outfit number one, I went for a very safe, simplistic outfit, more concentration on the trainer. So for the first piece, it's just this essential oversized t-shirt from Minimal LA. And then over the top of the accessory, Basically, it is this kind of, it's like a tote baggy material, kind of side bag, something that's also very on trend at the moment. Side bags have been massively on trend, and this kind of style, like this color is like an off-white cream, very, very simplistic and minimal. And then for the bottoms, I just went for these simple Primark dad jeans, like the nice baggy fit with the kind of distressing at the bottom, crop twos so that shows off the trainer. And then I also have the accessory, like a long drawstring belt. What I like about it too, there's exactly the same color to match the bag. And when you tie it up and tuck in the t-shirt, it looks really, really clean. Such a simple outfit and it's actually really cheap too. And it comes off so, so effective. And then I'm wearing a plain pair of white socks and then the Yeezys. So that was outfit number one. I'll leave the link to all the items in the description box below. And now I'm moving on to outfit number two. Pull up, I shoot. Pull up, I shoot to win. I'm fucking on her and her friend. She trying to come fuck on my man. I think that I need me a Zan. I told her it's on the plan. And I just got a cool. Huh. You know that that thing is a band. Off white live until it go hands. Took flight to the six with the gang. To the money is where I'ma land. Making statements, I'm making them grand. In my pocket, I think it's a grand. With my bros, and we count every dance. You not gang, you can't be your friend. You so for the second outfit, that's more of like a vintage style, a lot more casual. So from the top, I am wearing. This is actually one of my favorite pieces, and I thrifted this for a steal of fifteen dollars. It is this Nautica, and it's a fleece hoodie, so it keeps you really warm. It's got the Nautica competition embroidery and the nice like white drawstrings. And then for the accessory, match the colors of the drawstrings. I love this bag. It is this white polo sport bag. It's kind of faded too, so it's got like a vintage effect. So it's got a bit creamy. I don't know if it's actually a girl's bag, but I personally really like it. And then I'm just wearing a plain pair of black prop smart pants from weekday. And to add some details to it, I have the jean chain coming off one pocket, and then I'm also wearing the Elon Gel. I'm also wearing the elongated belt from Minimal LA. Very simple, similar to the off-white belt. Kind of looks like a lanyard hanging down. Just add some detail to the outfit. Then I'm wearing white socks again. And then once again, I'm wearing the Yeezy 500 Salt. And the colors actually complement. Because this bag has kind of faded, it complements perfectly with the shoes. And there's still concentration mainly on the shoes too. 
So that's outfit number two. Now moving on to outfit number three. I do shows where your bitches are tan, huh? Niggas they know that I shoot to win. I'm hitting them bitches like Kobe. I'm laying it up like Ginobili. I'm with Charlie Brown, that's my homie. Even that's all the bitches you know. I fuck her and give her and go to the Brody. I jumped in the pussy real slowly. I swear I felt like macaroni. I was cooking it like I was Tony, huh? Beating it up from the bag. Like money, my jumper is cash. And all of these niggas is mad. They mad, they mad. Pull up, I shoot to in. I'm fucking on her and a friend. She trying to come fuck on my man. I think that I need me a Zan. I told her it's on the plan. So now moving on to outfit number three. This is a very standout outfit. It's probably my favorite out of the four in total. So the first piece, very, very standout. It is this polo sport kind of cropped upper coat, which I thrifted. It says polo sport embroidered right there. And on the back, it's so beautiful detail. It says polo sport right there on the neckline. And it's got like a cropped look, kind of like the Balenciaga puffer coat. And then underneath, uh, this is a t-shirt from Marlboro. I've actually got a full set of vintage Marlboro, a video will be coming soon. Very, very simplistic graphic too. Marlboro pocket right there, literally no cracking whatsoever. And then Coyote blue on the back, does it say blue? The yeah, Coyote blue at the back. Very, very nice t-shirt. And then of course, some added detail, kind of similar to like the Prada kind of style with a simple bag at the front. It is this Marlboro bag. It is actually quite funny. It is a CD case. I got this for really cheap on Depop. Even though it's a CD case, I don't really care because it actually adds to the outfit so well. Obviously complements perfectly with Marlboro And then for the bottoms, I just went for a simple cozy fit. It is these minimal LA joggers. Nice bit of subtle detail of the red and the cream. Matches perfectly with the t-shirt as well as the coat. And the cream matches perfectly with the Yeezy 500 salt. I chose with these to tuck the drawstrings in because I wanted a kind of cropped effect. I felt like leaving the long drawstrings out kind of disfigured the whole outfit. So I kept them tucked in. And then once again, went simple with the white socks and then the Yeezy 500 salt. This is personally my favorite fit. It's something that will stand out if you see it in the street. I love the vintage Marlboro t-shirt and bag. I think they complement perfectly. But that is outfit number three. Now we're moving on to the fourth and final outfit. Also at the end, I'm gonna be leaving a poll so you can vote which is your personal favorite outfit. I'm feeling like that's in Japan. I'm scoring again and again. Pull up, I shoot. Pull up, I shoot to win. Pull up, I shoot. Pull up, I shoot to win. I'm fucking on her and a friend. She tryna come fuck on my man. I think that I need me a Zan. I told her it's on the plan. Out in public, she grabbing my hand. My attention, she wanted to man. Let her come up, she said she a fan. Used to boy me, but now I'm the So now I want to break down on the fourth and final fit. This was something that was kind of out of my comfort zone. It's something I wanted to try a bit different. It's more of like a formal, cozy fit. It's quite simplistic, but the colors were a bit like obviously clashing. I don't know what you personally think. So for the first piece, the standout piece, it was this off-white, oversized knitwear, vintage from the brand that Tommy Hilfiger with this beautiful embroidery of the old logo. Like some people don't even know that this is Tommy Hilfiger, but I absolutely love this. Very, very nice piece. And that's got a very, very nice fit to it, kind of like baggy sleeves. And you can also roll it up to have like a cropped effect. And then below that, these trousers, I don't know if these actually are men's or women's. I thrifted these for $2, so an absolute steal. And the colors are kind of similar to like the Burberry colors. It's got like a cream, then it's got like a burgundy, I think it's like a black. Very nice pattern. It's got the elastic drawstring waistband. And then I really like the fit of it. It's perfectly cropped to show off the trainers, the Yeezy 500s perfectly. And they got a nice baggy fit, so the shoes don't look clumpy on my feet. And then the last bit was the socks. This is the bit which kind of out my comfort zone. I usually go simple and go for white socks or just like ankle socks. I went for like the off-white kind of cream to match the knitwear. Let me know what you personally think of it. Because some people think the colors of the socks don't match with the Yeezy 500 salts. I personally think it's out of their band and it's actually really comfy and it's very good for the fall slash winter. It keeps you nice and warm. To make this outfit even better, I would have worn an overcoat, but unfortunately my overcoats are at home. Overall, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know your favorite fit out of the four in the poll and the comment section down below. Let me know how you would have styled them and let me know if any of you cop these. I think personally think these shoes are beautiful. But if you enjoyed this video too, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really goes a long way. And also hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. But overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one. a lot harder than I thought. Basically, you can't even wait on the street where pals are selling. They've got security they literally tell you you can't stand there. And basically, I've seen a few of the pieces people have got, but basically, a lot of them are resellers, so they literally just don't want to show their faces, don't want to show any of the pieces, but I try and get as much content as possible. Pick up today, man. Uh, that just rugby. Oh, mate, that's the best piece of the drop, mate. Yeah. That is the best piece. One of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the 
real best piece. Oh shit. The corduroy. Oh, the corduroy. Shirt or the pants? Shirt. Nah, no pants. No pants. Just a tie. Yeah, yeah. You know? I man cop the bear, literally. Shit. That is mad. Did you get as well? I'm feeling that. Uh, yeah. This purple. Purple, purple shirt, yeah. yeah. yeah.